my name is Seraphin. I am the group leader of this Kikuzaka. Kikuzaka is the name of Kiswahili, which means that a group to promote the, the product of coffee. Our aim is to, to product good coffee, which is very marketable. First of all, we must have a garden. And this garden, as you see here, we were, we were taught how to make these plants and from the shoots. Let me show an example of the plants which we got from yes. Takri. Okay. And they, they taught us how to plant them. The first thing, you have to prepare your garden and clear everything. Then you make pits two cubic feet then you you find manure animal manure you mix it with a soil then you plant this uh, 45 degrees not 90 degrees okay you plant it 45 degrees like this yeah. then you water it you water them up to when they germinate then you must find something like a hook, like this, to make it to bend it down so that they can shoot new plants. After having this, with the thickness of a pencil, we harvest them. You take a sizzle and you prune the branches like this. You see? Then you cut this leaves half. Now you count five steps from the top. Three, three, not five. Okay? Then you must have a sharp knife to sharpen here so that you can plant it down direct. I'm, I will show you later. Okay. So you must sharpen like this. Now this is ready to be put in a germination box. Now, a germination box is prepared by making a box of wood. Then you find a, a forest soil. Yeah. You fry it or you roast the soil using this kind of iron sheet. You get the forest soil and you put it over here. Then you make a fire down here, a lot of fire, so that all germs will die. Okay. You understand? Yes. Yeah. You go on turning the soil up to when it is hot to 100 or more than 100 degrees centigrade. Now you remove the soil and you put it down to cool. You understand? At the same time, you have prepared germination boxes, which are, we are going to see now. Okay. By using these timbers, making a square, we, we call it a, a germination box. Then we start with sand at the, at the beginning. We start with sand or small stones. Then we put this, ordinary sand. This is for drainage? Yes. yes. Okay. And then we put it the forest soil at the top, at least a thickness of four inches. Now we, we put water and we make it soft like this. This soil is mixed with water. We level the soil, okay, before planting this. Then we have an instrument of measurements <laughs> to show the distance from one nail to another nail is two inches after surfacing the soil by using hands or racks or ordinary timbers like this all box is flat okay yeah. now we start at the corner let's say from here let me show you how we surface Now, 
Now, from this corner, we want to plant now the new plants from the garden. We call it a mother garden because it produces shoots continuously. If that's, that garden dies, it means that everything is finished, okay? Yeah. Now, we put this at the corner like this and press it down, okay? After pressing it down, we just try to make some holes by the help of the nails. Okay? Yeah. Now we take this. But after cutting this, we must be very careful so that the germs cannot enter here. So the, the instruments which we use must be clean and sterilized. We sterilize them by using blue copper. We, 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 we dilute blue copper, then we just put okay. them like yeah. this, you see? This is blue copper, copper which is sterilized, yeah. okay? So, now these are shoots which have been brought from the mother garden, okay? Yeah. First of all, we must group them according to their length. For example, these are tall ones, but these are small. Before we, we, we plant them, now we should, we should chop them in our blue copper solution to sterilize that. Mm. Make sure that the place where you cut looks at you so that the plant, the, the roots will shoot out of the cuttings. Okay, now we start the, the short ones at the corner. See, yeah. we go on with the short ones, okay, like that. Then we go on. You see, hmm. you plant like this, okay. Now, the tall ones, it means that how far you go there, you, you come to the high area, you see. So that the tall ones must be here. If you put the tall ones at the beginning, when you cover it with the plastic, the plastic will harm them. Okay? Yeah. That's why we start with the, the small ones to the big ones. As far as we go to the middle, we find the, 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 tall, the tall ones towards to the middle, then small ones to the end. Yeah. Okay? After that, we cover them. We cover the box with a plastic. See? And sometimes if the, the plant is so tall, you can make it a piece like this. It will germinate. You can see this is starting to, to shoot out the new plant. After six to seven weeks, they will start to germinate. And we put this in case of shade. It doesn't need a high temperature of the sun. And if we could have a shade net, it would be more better. We use this local material, which doesn't stay for a long time. This is a banana leaves. leaves. Okay. Now, you see, after that, it will germinate like this. You see? Now it has shoot down the the root okay yeah. after that after having this now we harvest them from the germination box to the polythene tube we just take polythene tubes we put rich soil inside then we plant this very gently because the roots are not strong and after that we must put them under the shade like that as you see them so after two to three to four weeks or one month they are ready to be taken to the farm now we are going to show you how we plant them we must use the rich soil as the soil which we used to germinate the the, the, the plants okay now you can see how he's doing how he is going to see? plant he must plant it very careful
Now this is red. After having this now, they are not very strong. They are very delicate. Mm. So we put them in another box as that, but that is not on use now. But we cover it with polishing as we do, as, as this one. Putting these plants as we did there. Okay? Yeah. After two to three weeks, you remove the polishing paper. Now they start to learn the outside atmosphere. Okay. After that, you take them out of the sun. So they will be, after two to three weeks, they will be ready to be taken to the farm because the weather outside is the same as the weather where they are going to stay and start their new life. So. From Thakri. But we don't get support let's say of making modern boxes so after using these local boxes they don't stay for a long time mm. you see and these polish thing tubes are very expensive mm. expensive ex excuse Sante. me Sante. you see and we don't have this uh, shading net if we could we, we could have shading net now we could produce more plants to encourage our people to grow this coffee, you see? And we put this as terraces to show, so that to prevent soil erosion. When it rains, the soil can be taken away by, by the water of rain. Now, if you look at these stems, you can see the old coffee was this steam here. You see? Mm -hmm. So we cut them and we join with the shoots from the garden as we told you. And I'm going to show you how we do this. So this one is the old one, but these are new plants. And they, they after con connecting them or crafting them, you can get the first harvest after one or one and a half years. But if you plant the seed as we were planting before, you harvest it, the first crop, after five years. You see the difference? Yeah. So people like this because you can harvest it for a short time and you get a lot of crops of harvest and it is, uh, it resists it resists the, the, the illness, you see. We, they, don't have, they don't have, let's say, leaf, leaf rust. Leaf rust is very bad mm. because all leaves drop down. Yeah. And you, if the, the plant don't have leaves, actually you can't have it, harvest anything. Now I'm going to show you the, the stages to, we follow. The first thing is you make sure that the plant has the thickness of a pencil as we have seen before you must have these shoots from the garden mother and now he's going to change this he's going to cut this is of no use then. okay that's the first stage He's going to put that into the copper solution so to sterilize the knife. He is going to cut a piece as he's doing. See how he's going to sharp it. and he cannot touch it with his hands. See, now it's ready. He's going to sharp at the middle, 
very gently and very careful now he's going to fit the new plant at the place where he has cut very gentle he's not touching it with his hands he is going to press it gently down very gently down you see up to when all the part which is chopped enters into the old plant you see yeah. now you can see now it's ready he has joined it he's going to tie it with a plastic and he's going to use a plastic so that the water can't enter through to the cut now if if it cuts down he is going to use even two or three ribbon mm. no problem to make sure that the water can't enter to the cut he is making sure that there is no hole in that paper he is going to tie there very tightly so that the water cannot penetrate out in to out He's going to use this to support the paper. He's going to use two sticks. A hole there. And after he will put some water inside. The water helps the plant to not to feel hot and to have moisture. Up to when it germinates. Now he's going to, to pump air inside so that the plant could be free. He's going to tie the hole so that the air couldn't come out and the plant will still be free up to when it germinates. And this is because if the plant touch, touches the, the paper, the paper the plant the the leaves will die because of hot because of the heat of the sun oh. <laughs> he's going to try again but he must put some more huh. And as you know, carbon dioxide do help plants to prepare foods, <laughs> according to photosynthesis <laughs> system. <laughs> so these sticks are used to support these threads and make this paper to be firm, mm. so that the new, the new cut which is kept inside may be free, and they are not allowed to touch the the walls of the mm. the, the paper. So that is finished. Huh. After six weeks, it will shoot up. This work was done to all plants which you see here, well, but they are old now. They are big. Okay. Okay. They are ready now to be to be planted in farms. And as you see this paper, it means that this was an old seed, and it has been joined to the new seed. So yeah. it's craft. Yes, craft. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How many plants are here? Yeah. There are 1,500 plants. Ah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's come to this area. So you can change a plant like this, as you see that one there. And uh, Okay. Now you can see this. This was an old plant, 
and this uh, when it was cut down it shoot up this then we join here you can see this this area here was joined as we did there this is a new shoot from the garden but this was a new shoot from the old plant now we, we we have joined it and now it is going on it has germinated so it can go on with no any difficulty mm. and this is put to support it because it is still young it is not strong enough to to ah. to depend yeah. on itself yeah okay now these are coffee berries but they are still young after from the from the flower to the to the seeds to be produced or from the flower to, to the harvest time it takes nine months nine months from the flower to the harvesting time so we put coffee inside here let's say 20 to 15 liters and then these are green beans are, are not allowed to be put inside okay. but anyway when they, they, they are up and they are re really ready we just fill here you see? Yeah. You, we put them here, then we grind them. You see? Now they fell down because they are mm -hmm. not strong enough. They, they, they are still young. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the machine do grind it <laughs> completely. Okay? Now this, this machine is usually used to our farmers to remove or to peel, to peel the coffee to the coffee berries. Modern machine costs a lot of money and people don't have enough money to buy this. Uh, it is cost about uh, 700,000 shillings. Huh? This, to 300, four, 400 US dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah. To have a, a modern machine. It, the modern machine is still by hand? Oh yeah. yes, I'm going to show you. Mm -hmm. Table little chuma. You see? From that now, you can put the coffee. And then the, the coffee. Now, you see? Uh, now, you see? So the coffee berries will flow to the container which you will prepare it here. Yeah. Yeah, but this is very expensive. As we have told you, 700,000 to eight. Now this is dried coffee, which is ready to be taken to be sold. But before you go and sell them, you must remove these ones which were crushed by the machine. Mm. And this were the pills we, we, which will remain. So you must remove them. This is all by hand? Yes. 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 Then this is the type we take it to, to sell. Hmm. And if we want to... What is the... To... <laughs> now, if we want to prepare them for our drinking coffee, we have an old machine, which we call it Matra. Yeah. We have Matra. Do you know Matra? M Matra? No. <laughs> OK, I'm uh, going to show a you. A song? <laughs> no, it's, no. Not, it's not a song. It's a kind of local tool used to make a dried coffee for ah. this, rather than put it in, in the machine. OK. That's the full process. That <laughs> Remove the husk 
The husks are removed by pounding like that. Okay. Now after that, you, you remove it and put it in another, another kind of machine. And this is done by women. It's going to, to take away the husks. You see? That's how to remove the husk. Now this is ready to be roasted. If you want to have a coffee drink, now you roast this. Mm. And after roasting them, you will have something like this. So you grind them, you put the, the powder on this net, and then you can get the powder ready to be prepared for drinking. You will get this coffee. You see, this is ready to be to be used as a drinking coffee. Mm. Okay, that's this yeah. whole system yeah. of local okay. local preparation. So our 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 chambers or our farms are mixed farms. We don't have one crop because if we de depend only on coffee, you can you can not survive because. This is the cash crop, and the price of this, it, it depends on the world market and the middleman who buys the coffee, you see. So we depend more to banana as, as our food, and we, we depend on coffee as a cash crop. And this coffee was brought by Germany so that the, the people at that time could have money to pay tax, huh. not to improve their life. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but now people are not depending coffee to for paying tax. They are depending coffee to improve their lives, hmm. to educate their children, building their house, and so on. But the price which we get from the people who sells the coffee which is Kensi, I'm going to tell you later, and we shall go to okay. visit the place. Mm -hmm. They are as middlemen. Ah. So we don't participate in the market. We just participate by, by producing the coffee and giving them. But when they sell them, they don't tell us. Ah. They just come and say, oh, this year the coffee is so high or so little, so you have this money, it's okay. Mm -hmm. We don't have anywhere to argue or anywhere to to prove what they are telling us something more more for honey. but the coffee ah, yeah. is our main cash crop okay from the years and years ago okay. but now it has come to come down because of the process the procedures mm. of producing is has been not very good in nowadays maybe because of weather i don't know but in the past we used it to to harvest a lot of coffee, mm -hmm. and somebody can build a house like this huh. using the money from, from my bike bag, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. not this time. Uh -huh. Maybe because of weather has mm -hmm. changed, the, especially the climatic change. Mm -hmm. The climatic change has affected very much <laughs> because we used it to produce a lot of coffee, and we sell. Some people in the past they used it to buy then cars by selling coffee, uh -huh. but nowadays has been calm down, down, down.